Get full access to over 10,000 episodes with your paid subscription. My Outdoor TV. Start your free trial today. If you take a map of North America and go as far north as you possibly can and as far west as you possibly can, you'll find Point Hope, Alaska. The climate here is as inhospitable as you'll find anywhere on this planet, but to the proud Inupak people, it's home. Now to most people, a home means a place to call your own, to live as one sees fit, where one sees fit. But to the Inupak, living in Point Hope is a necessity, for it's here on this finger of land that the whales pass by every spring. The Inupak know this because their ancestors knew it, and their ancestors knew it before them, all the way back to before recorded time. Point Hope signifies a way of life, a way of life that's often misunderstood. I've been invited by Jeff Kinovac and Point Hope whaling crew captain Popsy Kinovac to observe one of the oldest traditions left in the modern world. Whales are a controversial animal for many people. There's no getting around it. But through my observations, I hope to shed a little light on the spirituality and the sustainability of this traditional hunt that the Inupak people have been taking part in for nearly 10,000 years. What Jeff and Popsy and the rest of the Inupak community from this frozen finger of land are hoping is not for the rest of the world's understanding, they want to give the world an insight into their way of life, the only way of life for them. So cold, tough, tough country. Welcome to Point Hope. Point Hope. Tikiya. This is where the people live. This is where we live. Inupak people. Hey. That's not wood, that's bone. Jawbone. That, that's part of the jawbone of a bowhead whale. Look, look how ancient. Who knows how old that is? It is the walls of our home. We use whale jawbones to frame it. We put the sod on, and in the wintertime, the snow blows over it, and there's your six inches of insulation. So everything natural. As I look around, it's whale, 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 whale. Absolutely important. 
part of the culture and still today. Still today. And it's going to be into the future. It's a gift. Everything is given to you. Everything is given. People ask me, how old? Many, many generations. We don't know. Nobody knows. No one knows. We just know it's always been here. You raised in this environment. You learn to respect it. Do not abuse it. And use every resource. That's why we celebrated this for so many years. We believe we found something that works. Oh, boy. You know how long I would survive up here, right? <laughs> Maybe till dinner. My goal on this journey is to understand. But you're gonna to have to help me with it. Breathe, relax, and be part of the land. I've never been worried that we wouldn't be able to tell the story of a place that we've been invited to. And I've always felt confident that we could tell the narrative of any people anywhere until now. I just feel, talking to Jeff, that they're so careful about who they let into their world. And it's a delicate, delicate thing. It's their lives. It's their history. It's, it's the beauty of a culture. How do you pass on the essence of a life to somebody who doesn't understand that? on this song. Right down to the youngest. What does this mean that we're doing right now? I don't know, they're dancing. Just dancing. We point out all the drums got well skin. Some of them maybe from a walrus stomach, but a lot of them from the whale. That is so cool. This is family. It's community, it's culture, it's tradition, it's sharing, it's respect. got the word out on the ice, the whales have shown up. 
These are the beluga whale. They say those they hunt right from the ice edge as they come close by, so they're bringing their gun. You can feel they're a little worried about the conditions, so they're concerned, but the whales are here and they're traveling through right now, so this hunt is on. Yeah, let's go, boys. from the old sled, which was broken to the new sled that they built yesterday. Popsy is the captain right now on this hunt. Popsy is the boss, and that's who we listen to. And we have to do exactly as he said. Beautiful. Popsy, which whales are you looking for right now today? Bullheads. The bullhead, but yeah. And if a beluga comes by, will you hunt that too? Mm -hmm. If it comes by, then? Yeah. If there's no whales. Okay. If there's whales, you don't shoot them. A beluga. The whales are top priority. Okay. And this year you've landed? We have five more. to get this pipe bomb inside the world, but it's an exploding spearhead. They do that to make it more humane. They want that whale dead quicker. So this is the barrel. It's hollow with black powder in it? Yes, it is. Okay. It's all brass. I cock it, push that firing pin back. Oh, okay, so that's the cocking mechanism. Remember, it's loaded now. And that's a cotter pin that's a safety. Yep. Okay, so there's a primer in there with a little cartridge. Pusher shell. Yep. Pusher shell. So now when you see a whale, you pull the safety out. So when you throw the spear, that hits, that pushes that, bang, shoots the spear into it, bang. Yep. And this is the actual harpoon now that's going on. Attached to the float. Attached to a heavy, heavy rope and to a float. And that gets thrown overboard. When the boy starts to pull, the harpoon pulls sideways against the skin and holds the boy in place. So then when this explodes, they have a marker boy for the whale. And then the other boats will converge and try and get their harpoons into it too for their shares. Holy smokes, what a piece of equipment that is. And on. Hey, Jeff. Now what? We wait. Wait. We're almost approaching 24 hour sunlight, so. So you can almost sit here all day long, all night long until something comes up. We don't know what the difference between nighttime and daytime is. <laughs> the sun will be up. Yeah, time just ceases to have any meaning. On. You know what? You might be able to stay up for 24 hours straight. I am going to be having a nap at some point in daylight. Don't have it at 3 in the morning. You can get it, bro. Chill with it. Okay, then we wait. We wait. Well, 
Is there a whale coming? They don't want to have more for me. So if a blue from the mail will you? No. You're back. We're waiting for that whale. They said there's a whale coming. It's gonna come up right here. Hopefully. Yeah. You always pay respect to tradition, and that's the tradition. You don't hunt blue when there's a bullheaded whale yeah, in the area. Whale is first. Whale is first. Whale is first. on our right has waved a paddle, which means that there's a bowhead whale. They've seen it, which means everybody has to, we're just waiting to see what happens. Whale could come up anywhere right here now. We don't know. Does the motor affect the whales? It does. I don't like this. We switched to the skin boat, so we'll be totally traditional. coming right towards us, right along the floor. But you see what you... They're right here. This is incredible. And we can't hunt them. Do, do you, you, you can't hunt them because there's whales around. That's tradition. The beluvas are coming right by us. Right now, the guys can't hunt them. It's like they know we're not hunting beluga. How do they know? More belugas coming. What do you do? Do you just smile? <laughs> I'm doing it. They wait until there's a bullhead in there and then they come back. It's just like a little kid teasing. Pretty much the same thing as the movies do. Amazing. But if they decide a bullhead whale gets not around, then the beluga's are in trouble. Yeah. See, so there's more right there. Okay. More belugas. They're gonna come back.
on the outside mm -hmm. I saw the whale. A couple out at the point and then a couple inside. Look at this out. And then more hope that this bullhead whales would come to the surface, but it didn't. So they're getting their gear ready for a beluga hunt. They've spotted a pot of beluga whale coming. They'll wait till they come right along the shoreline, and they'll use their rifles as they come up right close here. Once they take the shot, which apparently they aim just a few inches behind the blowhole, they'll throw out these weighted grappling hooks to hook on to make sure the whale doesn't sink. Oh, there's so many. And they're all belugas, or is there a whale too? All belugas. Holy smokes. There's a pile of them. It looks like more than a hundred are coming at us across the whole skyline. They could be here soon. Some might be further ahead in the water. We don't know where they could come. We have to be quiet at some point. Belugas is close now. You can see them easily with your naked eye. Some are too far out. The ones they want to try and get have to come in right close. There's literally hundreds of them. <clears throat> They're swimming fast. That's crazy. Jalen is 14 years old. Just learning. Popsy is teaching them. He's saying, follow it underwater. Don't stand up. Just wait till it comes right there and breeze and take the shot. They're passing on the tradition. If anything, the whales are getting closer. We gotta be quiet. crisis if the animals didn't come close enough to watch your survival go past beyond your your range where you can do anything about it. it must have been horrible. Nobody wants to take a shot now. They're ready. They will shoot it. It just goes underneath the ice.
You just got a brutal whale. There's a shot. One came close enough on one of the cabs for now. The guys are excited because they know that somebody in the community got a shot at a whale and the community itself benefits. Now the one's going to starve. That's incredible. I'm just to be part of this as an observer. The balloons came this way and then they came this way. There's literally hundreds of them. We've probably seen a thousand today come across in front of us. And then then to see these Inupac hunters hunting, doing something that they've done with with rifles for a hundred years. Muzzle loaders before that and, and harpoons before that. For these people to hunt, the rest of the world, that's their problem. There's enough. There's a sustainable harvest, and this is what these Inupak hunters have done for thousands of years. Who can tell them it's wrong? No, it's not wrong. It's what they do. They don't need to defend it. It's their hunting. haven't changed in 200, 300 years, the hooks and the flensing knives. Before that, it would have been ivory knives and ivory flensing tools with handles of driftwood or bone. Amazing. It's skinning, but it's got such a layer of fat. And this is what they call the muktok, not muktok. That's from the big whale, Muktok. I'm sure my pronunciation is wrong. The chowder just with nothing. Whoa. This is muktoch chowder, which is beluga chowder. Basically loaded with clams and other seafoods and fresh. Like the clams. Oh, fantastic. Nobody's eaten more like kings last night. I haven't tasted it yet, but I know it's the best. It's not the best. Muktuk's the best. <laughs> I've been eating too much. <laughs> give, me, give me more muktuk. <laughs> Bless this food all on that. <laughs> and some dessert. Well, exactly. Holy smokes. I'm bugging ahead of whoever's left. That looks awesome. I don't know what to put in it. Whether it needs anything or not, I probably shouldn't. Muktuk chowder. There it is, eh? Muktuk. Yep, Muktuk. 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 Wow. Unbelievable. Huh? So good. This is the Muktuk. You can see the white skin and then the piece of fat that's attached to it. It's got a crunchy texture, like calamari, but not so crunchy as that. And then it tastes like oysters and clams mixed and 
delicious. Salmon berry delight. Salmon berry delight. When you eat it, you know instantly that it's good for you. Your body knows. It's just the weirdest thing. It knows it's cold out, and this is what will keep you alive. It's incredible. It's beyond just a food. Beyond just sustenance. Mmm. That mm, is really, really good. Get under the ice. Don't let it go under the ice. Hey, Howard. Look at that. Holy, he threw it over the top. So we do it more. I've never heard of that. Good, good. Oh, that's more. See how you throw that out there? They got it, they got it. Get one. Unbelievable. What else? More wheels, more wheels. <laughs> 
people that will judge this and say it's wrong to hunt whales for the Inupak people. But it's not wrong for these people in this place that have done it for thousands of years and will do it for thousands of years. To them, this is their cattle, this is their herd, their flock, their pot, and they're the stewards of it and they take care of it. These animals, these people have survived together for 9,000 years here. They're going to survive together for 9,000 more years. It's the rest of us are the problem. We have no right to judge this. All we can do is observe it and try and understand it and tolerate. That's all. When you're with these Inupak people, you start to realize that maybe we don't know everything we think we know. That's what you learn when you're up here. Busy day, man. I like it. Like it. Love it. Want more of it. Some shark, you don't know how lucky he is, man. <laughs> off the ice because they have to divide up the beluga whale meat that they've caught today. The town is happy. Popsy's team has only taken three other belugas the entire month. They got three today, so it's a pretty big day. And Eva is in charge of the distribution. She's the captain's wife. She's the one that says where everything goes. She is the boss here. Fun? Amazing. I, I'm I'm just enthralled with the whole process. You know you guys come right timing because before you guys came, they just waited. No animals. And it's always different. Sometimes you wait, sometimes there's action. There was a lot of action out there this morning. There was a thousand beluga whales coming just like this. And then they go back and forth and around. It was amazing. And then did you guys get to try the beluga? The chowder? Uh-huh. Fantastic. You guys. Oh, I, it's all fresh. Muk tak, yeah. right? Muk, muk tak. Muk tak. And in the beluga, does Popsy as the captain get the tail part? Yeah, and then we just go ahead and bring it to the feast because they'll cut it up and distribute to our guests, to the elders. Okay. Because there's going to be a lot of tails showing this is how many belugas you cut all so far. Uh -huh. For the Inupak, they keep the tails of the whales that they've taken, they bring them out for the celebration a month from now in June. And they lay them out and they represent their skill, their ability, their odds of surviving. And the great hunters had more trophies at the celebration, more whale tails. And it shows who the most successful hunter was and it's directly proportional to their chances of surviving for the winter. <laughs> Even here, trophies. <laughs> and they're now dividing up the pieces of meat into 19 equal shares for the 19 members of Popsy's whaling crew. He's a captain. It's, it's how a community exists and survives. When it's so small, 750 people, everybody knows everybody. So there would be petty arguments starting up if there wasn't a system in place it works. It's worked forever and it'll work forever into the future. And this is part of it, making sure that things are fair for everybody. 
equal. Every house gets a part of the meat. Yeah. Duck. That's what they're doing. They're going around to door to door. Every single member of the community gets a piece of muck tuck from the whale. That's cool. One of the things that I'm, I'm noticing as I'm spending time here in Point Hope with the Inupak people is a community. Community isn't something they talk about or try and attain. Community is something they have and something they are. They're a community. Look at Popsy's mother's in here, and he's the whaling captain, and you've got Popsy's wife in here, and the grandson. There's four generations working here. How many other places I mean, in our own communities, when, when I think back, there's some really fundamentally good things about this community that all of us can benefit from in the South. And all of us would do well, rather than judge, and, and just assume our way's better. You, you look around, look at this. You know, working together. Wow, oh boy, there's, there's something we learn. Something do we learn. It's just a perfect community balance and with the youth involved, every generation involved, healthy, solid, forever community. Holy, that one's huge. This is a sustainable use of a, of a resource. That's what they eat. This is their herd, their pod. 